So the food we give our growing toddlers makes a huge difference to their physical and mental development. Joining us today on the Anmum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, child nutrition experts Laura Tari and Maya Lee. Good morning to you both. Hi. Good morning. Really nice to have you in the studio. Uh, first up, let's start with you, Laura. What is the importance of good nutrition? Yeah, so good nutrition is important at any stage of our lives, mm. but it's, it's significant in our toddler years because so much development is happening at that stage. You know, our, our bones and our brains are growing at such a rapid rate, so we need good nutrition. Um, to make sure that that growth is ha actually happening really healthy. Um, but also, toddlers are really, really active. Um, those who have toddlers will know. And um, that you know, they're learning to walk, to run, to climb, to learn, discover, explore. And they need the right food to make sure that they've got the feel for that. Yeah, learn to be precocious as well. Uh, learning right. how to have a proper yeah, tantrum yeah, as well. Exactly. <laughs> um, Maya, what does good nutrition look like on a daily basis? Um, on a daily basis, I think it's really important to establish really healthy eating um, from the get-go. I think it's really critical particularly if you want to create a healthy and adventurous eater. Um, I think a really nice phrase that sort of sums it up is eat the rainbow, which basically means just eating a variety of whole foods, mm. plenty of vegetables and fruit, different colours. Um, eating a variety of different colours just really keeps an active toddler's body um, filled with all the essential vitamins and minerals and nutrients that they need for the day. Do you think it makes a difference if you start them on sort of different things when they're a toddler as to how their tastes are going to develop or are some just harder work than others. Definitely. I think um, there is something to be said about shaping the palate and mm. really offering a variety of different flavours, um, mm. not just sweet, um, you know, savoury, bitter um, and sour as well, just to really shape and expand the palate. So Laura, what if you do have a fussy eater? Because I've yeah. been blessed with pretty good eaters, mm. but um, I know my niece would only eat jam sandwiches yeah. for pretty much, it seemed like years. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And it's, it's one of the most frustrating things of being a parent, one of them. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's something, you know, you're not the only one, you know, you're not alone in that. And as a parent, you know, you just have to remain calm and remain patient, <laughs> which is, you know, yeah. easier said than done, isn't it? Um, but it's just about um, being positive about food and giving lots of positive affirmations about it. So, you know, telling them when they've done a great job with eating and sit with them and, and be a role model and talk about food being yummy and being healthy. It's, it's never too early to start talking about why food is really good for you. But keep food, keep food interesting, you know, shapes, colours, finger foods, so they've got lots of independent ability to do it. So, you know, if your toddler um, doesn't like a food, doesn't mean, um, doesn't eat a food, sorry, doesn't mean they don't like it. Mm. Um, so you know, it can take a toddler up to 10 times to actually get, accept a food, you know, and, and it, getting used to the taste and texture. So just perseverance is really important. Just keep putting it down. What are your thoughts, Maya? Mm. Um, I've, I have a toddler, <laughs> and um, she's kind of reaching that stage where she's really starting to become really um, independent. Mm -hmm. I think sparking the imagination is a really good way to uh, wave goodbye to fussy eating. I think, as you mentioned, um, having fun with vegetables, making them into different shapes, mm -hmm. and giving them cool names as well. There's actually an excellent piece of research that shows that if you give vegetables a cool name, kids associate that with that eating it's cool. So, I don't know, names like x-ray carrots or power peas or something like that. Mm. I don't know, just try anything. And the funny thing is too is that most, most toddlers do like broccoli and it's not until they go to school that yeah. they think broccoli yeah. is like a health food they should avoid. But when they're toddlers they actually love yeah. little treats yeah. broccoli. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, look it's just like anything. I think um, your flavours and, and tastes change. I mean you think about as we grow, grow up. You know, yeah. um, what you used to like as a child, you might not like now. And yeah, what you didn't like as a child, mm. you yeah. Like now. yeah, exactly. Coffee. Yeah. Um, so what do you think we should avoid? Yeah, so I think it's, I don't think there's anything you need to necessarily avoid. I think variety is super important and, mm. and is the key. I mean, there's some things that could be choking hazards for toddlers. They still have, you know, smaller throats and things like that. So some people might avoid sort of hard foods or hard nuts and things like that. But I think it's just about um, choosing a healthy, balanced diet and, and maybe choosing foods that are lower in sugar and, and, and lower in salt and stuff like okay. that. Yeah. Okay, Laura, here's a quick question for you too from our viewer, Mel Burt. She says, how can I ensure that my my toddler snacks well. Yeah, so snacking is actually is quite important for a toddler because they have such small stomachs and sometimes small appetites as well. Um, you know, they m m may be eating more sort of smaller meals more regularly throughout the day. So I think variety again is, is really important, but preparation is super important for snacking. So when you're out and about, you always have something on the go with you to stop you from maybe buying something that's higher in sugar or higher in salt. Um, so, you know, things like chopped up vegetables, chopped up fruit, little bits of kumra or, or pumpkin or potato cooked. Yeah. Um, 
little um, bite-sized sandwiches, um, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of ham. At home, you can be a bit more, there's more variety. Yeah. You can, you know, a pile of yogurt, a fruit smoothie, some homemade sc uh, scones or pikelets. Hummus? Yeah, or hummus and a sandwich on toast, yeah. yeah. This is always delicious. Yeah, yeah. delicious. As well. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you both very much for coming thank in you. today. It's no worries. Great. great advice. Now, uh, Coffee Group is brought to you by And Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. If you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, comment on the cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool ebook from Anne Mum. And congratulations to you, Mel Burt. Nice question. Uh, you've picked up the prize from last week and look at Talks too. Not going to talk now because I turned it down. There we go.